so the v6 bluetooth headset if you're like me just a new rider didn't really want to drop two to three hundred bucks on a Cena headset so I looked online for some alternatives and what I found was this you are able to listen to music, make calls, record moto vlogs if you want to. So, the main reason I wanted to get the Bluetooth was for music. And I love music. I'm a DJ. Um, so my audio standards are pretty high. Being a $25 Bluetooth headset, it really wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. However, for 30 bucks, it's not that bad. Alright, so let me back up. First got it, really excited to get it. There wasn't much bass, it was really, really flat sounding. But that was just in my kitchen. When you're out on the road, you can hear the music. You can tell what's playing and you can get into the music. In order to hear it well, you have to turn the Bluetooth all the way up and you have to turn your phone all the way up. Um, to hear it at a decent level. Now I drive a really loud CBR 600 uh, with an aftermarket exhaust on it so listening and writing at the same time it was just too much. Uh, it was too loud all around. At that point I thought I was gonna come back and make a review about how it's not a very good um, unit and I was gonna possibly take it back uh, but I was lazy and didn't take it back. I just kind of left it on there. Um, and then I found that I actually liked it. Uh, if I'm going on a trip that's more than 10 miles, I'll put my earplugs in. You know, the little foam earplugs that you can get at Walmart. Um, and when listening to this headset while wearing earplugs, it's actually not bad. Um, I was just wearing the earplugs because my engine's loud and the wind noise and whatnot, but it actually is decent quality music coming into your ears when you're using earplugs. So my theory is that Without earplugs, there's so much coming into your ear, wind noise, engine noise, exhaust noise, and music, that your senses are just kind of overloaded and it just sounds awful. But when you put the earplugs in, that wind noise is cut down, that engine noise is cut down, because they're all outside of your helmet. Now, when the speaker is right up against that earplug, it's really close to your ear, and it's able to just come right into your ear. So, I'm able to listen to music and get fairly decent audio out of this unit. Um, I was thinking that I was going to upgrade to the Cena, but as of now, I think I'm just going to stick with this guy. So, I am riding on my 2008 CBR 600RR. Uh, it's got an aftermarket pipe on it, so it's pretty loud. So obviously, when you're accelerating, you're probably not going to be doing much talking. But uh, if you were to be accelerating while you're talking, this is what it would sound like. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm going to uh, lift up my visor now, and uh, this is what it sounds like with the visor open. I don't know if there's a lot more wind noise or not, but you should be able to tell from the video. I'm gonna close it again. So yeah, this is definitely a budget Bluetooth, but uh, it definitely does the job. 
So I've uh, I've never owned a Cena headset. Um, I've heard they're really good, but they're also really expensive. So if you're looking for a, uh, a Bluetooth unit that uh, won't break the bank, uh, I would definitely look into this V6 unit. Now, uh, durability. Um, there was a clip right here that kind of goes over your helmet into your shell and that's how it's connected. Um, my, I don't actually know how it broke, but it did. It broke off right there. So what I ended up doing is I took command strips um, command hook command strips and I just put those on my helmet and pressed it on there and it's been firm since uh, I looked online you can get the replacement clip for three bucks um, but it just wasn't worth it to me uh, this works great it's stayed in place hasn't moved at all so with this V6 unit, you can make phone calls, you can use Siri, um, you don't even have to touch your phone to use Siri, you just press the call button on here and it'll pull up Siri and then you can tell Siri to get you directions, to call someone, to text someone, um, and it, it works great. Uh, if someone calls you, you can pick up right from your headset and um, I've never had anyone complain about not being able to hear me. One thing that I haven't been able to try out is the intercom system. Um, when you have, you can connect up to, I believe, yeah, six riders on this. Um, I don't have any friends who own this uh, this model, um, so I I uh, I haven't been able to try out that feature. However, I have heard uh, from other reviews that. It's pretty good, so uh, you can't take my word for that one. But uh, if I ever get a buddy who ends up getting one of these, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I would definitely recommend this product. Like I said, it's not a $300 unit, it's a $30 unit, and you get what you pay for, but it does the job. You can make calls, you can text, you can hear your directions, you can listen to music on the road, and that's what I got it for. Well, all right guys, uh, that's it for the V6 Bluetooth headset. Um, if you guys like this video or found it informational, you learned something new, I'd appreciate a like. If um, you guys want more videos like this one on random reviews, hit that subscribe button and uh, Hope to see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.